Hello and welcome to Working With Songs Part 2. In Part 1 of Working With Songs, I showed you how to add songs to your database. In this video, I'll show you how to do basic editing of your songs. I'll go over copying and pasting slides within a song, separating one slide to multiple slides, rearranging your slides within a song, working with font sizing, and the difference between editing a song in the database and editing the song in the schedule. There may be times where you'll have a song in your database that is laid out with the chorus and then each verse following. You may want to add the chorus slide after each verse to make your song linear. You can use the keyboard shortcuts for Windows to copy and paste the slides where you want them in Easy Worship. Let's search and use the Solid Rock as an example. If I right click on the song in the database and choose Edit Song, it will open in the song editor. I can highlight the chorus text and press Ctrl C on the keyboard to copy the text. To add a slide after verse 1, click at the end of verse 1 and then click the plus sign in the bottom left to add a slide. If you copied a label with the slide, which we did, chorus, click in the label field and press Ctrl V to paste the text. If you copy a slide without a label, you can click in the song field and paste the text there, and it will leave the label blank. You can do the same thing after each slide. If I want to continue pasting the chorus after each slide, it was the last thing I copied, so I can just create a slide after each verse and paste the chorus in each one. Now you can see we have a chorus between each verse in the song. If you create a slide but it isn't located where you want, you can click the box on the left of the slide and drag it up or down to rearrange it. You can also go to the slides view and drag and drop the slides in the order you want and also delete unwanted slides by selecting the slide and pressing delete on the keyboard. To separate one slide to multiple slides, you will use Control enter there are two ways to separate a slide. One by moving to a new slide and bypassing the label, and one by moving to a new slide and putting the first line in the label. To bypass the label, for example if you have a verse or chorus that is too long for one slide, and you want to move half of it to a second slide, you can click the mouse at the beginning of the line of text that you want to move to the next slide, and press Control enter and it will bypass the label. If you have a slide that combined two slides together and it has a label, for instance here, I have two verses on one slide and I want to separate those. Click your mouse at the end of the line of text before the label that you want to move to the next slide and press Control Enter. It will move that next line of text, or the label, into the label field. If I would have clicked at the beginning of the line of text and pressed Control Enter, it would have bypassed the label, which is okay, because you can just backspace that line back into the label. If you separate your text into multiple slides and bypass the label, you can add labels to those slides if you want. Just click the label field and type in what you want to be the label. The default font sizing in Easy Worship is to auto size the text. If you want to manually set a font size, you can highlight the text you want to change and click the font size on the toolbar and change it to do not auto size text. Then you can select whatever font size you like. If you want to go back to auto sizing, you can select the text and click the font size on the toolbar and select resize text to fit element. When you right click and edit a song in the database in the resources area, any change you make there is a permanent change and will be saved in the database that way. If you want to make a temporary change to a song just for the use of one service, but don't want to change it in your database, you can add the song to your schedule, right-click the song in the schedule, and select Edit Item. Then you can make the changes there. When you click OK, those changes will only be saved in that schedule. Be sure to watch the next video to find out more about advanced editing of songs. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Easy Worship.